If you're cold, they're cold. Hi, my name is Dave and I am a bird nerd. Welcome to my community, bird sculptors and painters. As you may remember, water heats up much slower than land. I'm very familiar with that fact. About 10 years ago, I woke up to a stiff northern wind and it was cold outside. We fired up the boat, drove 30 miles offshore into the Gulf of Mexico, and when we got to our destination, the captain asked me to step forward and tie us off to a shrimp boat. Now, I lost my balance and fell into the water. In the half a second it took me to actually fall off of the boat and land in the water, I thought, oh no, this is gonna suck. But it turned out the water was delightfully warm. You see, it had been cold on land for days, even weeks. But the water was still warm because science. Oh, and after I fell off the boat, I caught this fish too. Not a bad way to spend a couple of hours in the Gulf of Mexico in September. This whole cold worm thing applies to your oil paints. If you work in a garage or outside, you have to worry about the temperature that your paints get. So if it's cold in the winter, your paint turns into peanut butter. Mmm. But in the summer, when it's like 100 degrees every day, your paint turns into kind of a runny mess. So keep your paints inside and then bring them out to your studio, your shop, your garage, or whatever, if that's where you do your bird painting. You'll be much happier with that stable consistency of that room temperature paint. Your blending will go much easier and it'll just be a more enjoyable experience. If you enjoyed this tip, hit the subscribe button. Then you'll know when I upload more of the good stuff. You should probably also consider joining my community, Bird Sculptors and Painters. There's a link in the description below this video, and that will get you all the best tips and tricks delivered straight to your inbox, as well as updates on all the courses that I offer. I look forward to supporting you in your journey to total bird nerd. Thank you.